The most important and basically the only option available for accumulation registers is the ability to select the kind of register, balances or turnovers. But what do these options mean? In all our previous cases, we used only balance accumulation registers. We use this kind to store information on stock balance. It means that such registers are some kind of a warehouse that we can visit at any time and check the number of available product units. So we can describe the main idea of balance accumulation registers as follows. A way to know the stock balance on a specific date. To understand the designation of turnover accumulation registers, let's consider the following case. Assume that we get a discount after spending a certain amount of money on supplier goods. Say by spending $10,000 a month on products from a specific supplier, we get a 10% discount on all follow-up orders that we place with the supplier until the current month ends. To enable this functionality, we create turnover accumulation register, supplier discount. Our dimension here is supplier. It directs us to catalog contractors and utilizes total amount to present the amount spent under a specific document. We have only one document to add records to the register. This document is purchases. With the record wizard, we create a posting procedure for document purchases. And here comes the first difference. Our turnover register has no receipt or expense option for its records. The reason is that when we calculate a turnover amount, we do not need to know if records refer to receipts or expenses. Thus, we add a new portion of code for document purchases posting procedure. Switch to 1C Enterprise mode and repost all documents purchases. Then check register supplier discount. Though we have never mentioned it before, both types of accumulation registers, the balance and turnover, are periodic. The platform calculates totals as of the first day of each month and stores the results in a dedicated table. So we've got our turnover register. Now let us give some of our time to theory so that we can have an absolute clear understanding of how accumulation registers operate. We can go back to our sample case as soon as we're through with it.